what is happening my motivators it is your boy motivator carter coming at you with another video so today's video will be uh discussing forex exchange trading or forex trading before we get into the video i like to discuss um where i've been for the past few months i have been going through a depression stage and a suicidal phase and then i also been just going through a lot of phases in my life right now so i haven't really been you know the motivated guy i usually am or haven't had a lot of time to focus on you know trying to do things like this or focus on anything i've been focused on getting myself together and then i also been facing issues at home and issues uh, uh, elsewhere so i just been i just like okay you know what let me take a step back from a lot of things and get myself together first before i get back on camera and i'm better now so i am ready to teach people about forex and hopefully i can get somebody on board as my as i mentee I'm not, now mind you, I'm not a mentor, but I'm going to get there and I want to help other people get there with me. First things first about Forex. It's not a scam. The Forex exchange market has been around since ancient China on the Silk Road. And number two, it's not the same as stocks. See, stocks is you buy something from a company, you buy, wait a minute, you buy, you buy a share from a company, and then it matures over time, which means you get more money. Sorry, I thought my dad was calling me, but he's actually sleeping. So number three, five point seven trillion dollars are exchanged every day on the market. Based, what does that mean? There's enough money for everybody. There's, that's that's as simple as that. There's enough money. If if five point seven trillion is traded every day, then that means that that's that five point seven million, a piece of that pie can be in your pocket if you're willing to put in a trade. Number four, you don't. It doesn't require no experience. What, I, what it does require is an open mindset, a willingness to learn, and and the motivation, dedication to want to want to do better yourself. Number five, the world's changing. Eventually, y'all gonna realize that paper currency is not really becoming a new norm. Now you see a lot of people doing online trading, online spending, online buying, online spending, online trading, online uh, basically doing a lot of things online. And so basically now cryptocurrency is starting to take over and there's a hell of a lot more cryptocurrency than there is paper currency, which is why it's coming more lucrative market to actually do it online instead of doing with paper paper transfer. Next, I'm gonna go into the pros and cons. And y'all know I like my vegetables first, so we're gonna talk about the cons. Volatility. It's volatility. Yeah, they say vol volatility. Small small traders may face issues. Lighter regulatory protection and there's fewer residual returns. Now we're gonna go to the now we're gonna go into the pros. Accessibility, leverage, potential for fast returns, easy short selling, liquidity, technical strategy, less potential for insider price man, fewer fees and commissions, similar tax rules, and automation. So I'm gonna go into cons real quick. I say volatility. So volatility basically means that. There's more than one market out there that's competing with each other. So maybe the one market you enter in, another market might get on top, and then your market might go on top, might go on top. That's how volatile it can get. Small trades may face issues. Basically, if you're like, you know, you're starting out, you know, you might face treasure because you might go into a good trade right here, and then there's a better trade, and then boom, it knocks your trade down. Or you might get in a better trade, and then another trade goes. So that is that's another problem. So few residual returns basically is like. If you enter a certain amount of money here, you're less likely to get a residual return unless you can manipulate the market to your advantage, which you know how to, you know, enter in the right amount in which you make more money and you lose less. And lighter regulatory protection, I can't go too far in detail for that because I, 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 have, I have a mentor who, who's uh, teaching me this stuff right now who I can connect y'all with if y'all at the end of this video hit me up on my social media links down below and I can get y'all I can get y'all pointing in the right direction so we can all, you know, make money together and we can like, you know, retire ourselves. So, so I'm gonna talk about uh, some, I'm gonna go into detail about some of the pros. I can't go into detail for all of them because like I said, I'm not that good yet. I'm still learning myself. Put my pants up, fix right here. Okay, so accessibility. It's easily accessible to these markets. Only difference is that you just gotta be showing that you're willing, that you just gotta be showing that you're willing to, you know, Find out which market is easy accessible to, and put in the right amount for that market, and put the right amount for every other market. Leverage, like I said, there's multiple markets out there you can trade to. You just gotta know which you just gotta know which one to start off with. 
and which one that you want to like you know invest more of your money into and also be willing to invest into multiple markets not just a simple market and simple tax rules I don't know too much about that or augmentation or basically I don't know a whole bunch of right now because I'm like I said I'm still a rookie I'm still trying to get better but I can tell you at the end of the day forex trading is accessible it's flexible and it's potentially lucrative I tell you <clears throat> it's also it's it's liquid it's transparent environment for trading taking taking into account some of the inherent risks of two forex trading many of which are present and other trading activities, Forex offers ample opportunities for success. To trades, willing to, the traders willing to become familiar with the conventions of with the conventions and inherent characteristics of forex trading. See right here, people. These notes right here. Let me let me see that glare and fix. See this? These are notes I be taking that I be using to motivate myself. And from one of the classes I from one of the classes I took. I want to share something from my main man Mark Ingram, who told who told us ways that we can get bet we can get better at uh, forex trading and how we can you know market ourselves to be better. He has he has um he he established these rules which can show us one in a real trade two post post every day at least ten times a day. Me I don't have that luxury yet because my Instagram messed up, but I got I got YouTube and I got I got Snapchat I got, I got Facebook I can post to one of those. One, talk to your mentor every day. People, if you if you do this, if you do this, y'all, you know, come to me and y'all you, you want to get started. Y'all hit me up every day. I'll have my mentor every day, and we'll get back. We'll work together so we can help you. Help let me, help me help you, and they help me help you, and they can help me help you. If that makes sense. One, work every day. Two, accept the facts. Please, 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 please. Above all. Believe in yourselves, people. That's all I. That's all I ask. Like one, you gotta understand. It's not about the money. It's about the impact. Two, take advantage of helping others. And when it comes to notes like these, see, Markel, Markel Ingram. Yeah, I hope y'all can see it better, but the glare might mess it up. This is right here. This is these are from one Zoom session that I've been in a couple months ago. This right here, right alone, teaches me why I should do more than just be the guy who learns. I want to make, I want, I want to help you guys out.